Dana Gain here. Today, we're taking a look at the status certificate and how it can protect you. If you've ever considered buying a resale condominium, you've probably heard the words status certificate and wondered why the phrase keeps coming up. Neither the word status nor certificate sounds particularly fun, right? Together, they uh, evoke an image of slogging through tedious paperwork, which is the very last thing most people want to think about when they're getting ready to buy a home. However, the status certificate, in all seriousness, is an important document. It could actually stand between you and your decision to purchase that condominium. Let's take a look at what the status certificate is and why it could matter to you. What is it? The status certificate is a comprehensive document containing information about two key areas. First, the unit or the apartment that you're buying. And second, the condo corporation that the unit belongs to. When it comes to the specific unit or apartment within the building, the status certificate outlines how much the common expenses are and whether these are paid and up to date. It also contains information about any special assessment that may have been charged against the unit and the purpose of that assessment. Special assessments are designed to cover a budget shortfall that might occur in the course of operations in a building. For example, if there are any major repairs or renovations needed that the condo corporation budget is not sufficient to cover, a special assessment swoops into the rescue and it may be levied to cover those expenses. The special assessment is then added to the unit owner's common expense fee as a one-time charge, and of course this is shared amongst all owners in the building. The status certificate also includes information about the condo corporation to which the apartment unit belongs. So you'll find the basics of the corporation, such as the address for service, along with the names and addresses for the directors and the officers. Also included in the status certificate is a copy of the Condo Corporation Declaration, Bylaws, and Rules. Uh, it also includes the budget for the Condo Corporation and details about the reserve fund. Finally, you will find insurance details for the Condo Corporation in the status certificate, along with information about any legal issues that may be pending. So why could this matter to you? Understanding the contents of a status certificate can have major implications for buyers of resale condos. Critical information is found in these documents that can provide insight into how well or poorly the building or the condo corporation is managed. Since the condo corporation is actually responsible for the management of the entire building, usually through a third party like a property management company, how well that building is maintained has actual implications for the owners living there. For example, if the plumbing system is not properly maintained over the years and the condo corporation through its board of directors fails to make the necessary repairs, problems could arise. Problems that maybe water begins leaking into the individual units or maybe a flood occurs immediately above the fitness center, which affects all the people that want to use the fitness center. Any major repairs that follow can have financial implications for unit owners. Why? Because if a condo corporation's reserve fund, which is what's supposed to cover these major repairs, if, that's, if there's not enough funding in that account, it may become necessary to divide up the cost of the major repairs among the condo unit owners. This is where the special assessment comes in. The cost of a renovation could be a big financial hit to an owner's common expense fee. How can the status certificate protect you? The contents of the status certificate tell a reasonably complete story about how well a condo corporation is being managed. In securing a copy of this document for the unit you may be about to purchase, you're taking an important step in protecting yourself against unwelcome financial surprises. Even better, you don't actually need to be a legal expert to interpret the contents of the status certificate. Your realtor will recommend that you send the document directly to your real estate lawyer for review. Your lawyer will know what to look for and how to interpret the status certificate and they will alert you to any areas of concern. Once you have the information, you can make an informed decision about whether you still wish to proceed with the purchase or not. 
Most home buyers will also opt to include a condition in the offer to purchase that provides several days to first obtain and then review the status certificate with legal counsel. This allows you time to protect yourself by getting a professional opinion that can take a look at how well managed the condo corporation is that you are considering joining. My name is Dana Gain and I'm here for all your real estate needs. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my YouTube channel and share it with your friends. If you have any questions about buying or selling a home, send your email to info at danagain.com. Thanks for stopping by. See you next time. Everyone, it's Dana. I'm so glad you stopped by. My goal with this video series is really to help all my clients, that's you, feel secure, feel confident in your real estate decisions. Thanks for watching. See you next time.